Today is a new day. I'm so happy to be here again. Uh, my name is Mrs. Edwards, and if you were not able to tune in, I am a second grade teacher from Jefferson Elementary, and I'm actually doing part two of our parts of speech lesson. So if you didn't get to tune in, you may want to go back and watch it, and then you can participate and do some of the things that we're doing today. But since I'm doing a recap, stay on with us and you will get to hear all of the things that we talked about and get ready to take all of that information and create that something special that I was talking about. Okay, so first, my first question is always, how are you feeling today? Good. That is so good to hear. I love to hear that, that people are doing good and feeling better. And if you're not feeling so good, hopefully this will brighten your day and make your day feel better. Okay. So let's go ahead. So yes, we talked about adjectives and we talked about feelings. Who remembers what book I shared with you guys since this is a reading and writing lesson? Yes, the way I feel. Yeah. <laughs> and also I talked about ch checking out this book. Today I feel silly and other moves that make my day. Okay, these are two good reads. And like I said, my kids really like it. And there are other books out there that you can go and read or find and check out and see what you think about them. All right, so back to this adjective thing. Who remembers what an adjective is? Yes, an adjective describes a noun and a pronoun. Yeah, and it's behind me, I gave you a little hint. So great, so that's what an adjective is. And let me do a little backup. All right, so we just talked about that an adjective is a word that describes a noun or pronoun. So let's check out some sentences. The bag is red. Red is the adjective. Look at the kids. They are excited. Remember, a feeling is an adjective if it describes a noun or pronoun. Now, backing up to this. This is a noun. Remember, a noun is a person, place, or thing. We have a girl, playground, cookies. A pronoun replaces a noun. Check out the first, the little girl. The girl is wearing pink shoes. The pronoun, she is wearing pink shoes. She replaces the word girl, the noun girl. It is fun. They are warm. Talking about the cookies. Now, I really want you guys to get excited about what we're about to do. So let's go. And I wanted to get you guys feeling pumped up because like I said, this summer is like no other summer. We have never experienced anything like this. The part where we can't really go a lot of places and we're trying to stay home and stay safe and stay healthy. So the whole thing has been a little different. So I wanted you to go back into your mind and I wanted you to brainstorm some ideas of a fun place that you like to go to with your family and friends, okay? You were brainstorming, so we started the process. Whenever we are writing, good authors, good writers, what we do is that we take what we are thinking, we brainstorm, so we come up with ideas. So we came up with a lot of ideas. So here are some of the ideas we came up with. Parks, camping, backyard, fishing, swimming, a walking trail, and so many others. So I'm thinking, what should we do next? Why don't we go and take a look at some of these places where we can do some of these things? So first we have Pepper Creek Trail. Check out the blue sky and the sun that's shining and the green trees and grass. As you begin to walk along the trail, you will see all of that wonderful, beautiful creation. There are even things, wildlife there. You can ride your bike, 
take a scooter, run or walk. And the, here is Ferguson Park. They have things that you can do over there as well. Whistle stop. <whistles> and Miller's Park, there's so much to do there and it's right across from Lamar Middle School. Lions Junction, wow. And summer fun, both of those, those are swimming parks and they have cool slides. JC Park, there's the one I was talking about that I chose to write about. There's that rocket I was telling you guys about and the playground. There's also basketball hoops where you can go and shoot ball. Like I said, all of my family, all six of us like to go there and shoot around a little bit. And there's a splash pad. And all around the park, there is a trail where you can walk there too. So many things to do on our staycation. So what did you think? All of those places were nearby. And no, I didn't go too far. I stayed around town, but some of you may not live in Temple. You may live in Belton or Colleen or Waco or Salado, somewhere nearby, Cameron or Rogers. I don't know. So if you were doing the activity, your ideas that you brainstormed might have been something closer to home. And don't forget, I said it could even be your own backyard. How much fun do we have in our own backyards? Okay. That was number one. The, and you were to pick your favorite place. Second thing was that I wanted you to generate the things that you could do there. So you were going to write down the things that you do when you go to the, that special place. And then number three, I wanted you to talk about how you felt when you were there. Are you tired? Were you hot because you're outside? Were you wet because you went to a water park? What is it? And again, you may not be doing that right now, but those are memories that you have and you can write from a memory. Those are personal. No one can take away those personal memories. That's when we start writing personal narratives and putting our feelings and expressing things. But this little project that we did, because this is an enrichment lesson, is it's going to tie in a whole bunch of different things in order to make sure that what we publish, we are able to share. And it has a lot of information and a lot of may have some facts and some opinions. So hopefully you have your list of things that you like to do. And so I had my own children do it. And so I will say that they came up with some pretty good ideas. Of course, remember mine was JC Park. But then my daughter, she decided that she was gonna write about backyard camping, okay? That was a good idea. And she talked about the different things that you could do back there. She said we could play board games while we were out there. We could make a tent. She even said that we could eat s'mores and tell stories. How cool was that? She even said some of the feelings that she was feeling was maybe scared because, you know, when it gets dark outside, it's dark. And she thought about excited because those are things and relaxed. Ooh, I liked, I told her, I really like that word. And silly because she thought that she could make some, do some funny things with her, with her brothers. Okay, so that was one of the ideas that my children came up with. And then I had another one. He decided to talk about Austin Park and pizza. No, it's not here locally, but it's not too far up the road. So he decided to talk about Austin Park and pizza. He said the things to do there were you can play on go-karts, play mini golf, play in the arcade, and eat, eat pizza. How nice. And the feelings that he described was energized, amazed, and excited. That 
word excited, we use that quite a bit. But you know what? When we talk about words and when we start really going through the writing process, when we, when we reread it, then what we do is we take some of those words and we say, well, let me not use that word again and again. And so we look for a word and it's, what's that word called? A synonym. A synonym is the, another word that has a, about the same meaning as another word. So we can figure out another word to interchange that word with. So instead of saying over and over again how fun it is, we can change out that word and say it was it's exhilarating, okay? Or we can say it brought me such joy. And so we can change out those words. It means the same thing, but it is a different choice of words. Because when we're writing, that's what's going to catch the reader and the reader is going to say, oh my goodness, I want to go there. Okay, so again, and then I had another one of my children. What he decided to do is that he talked about going on the bike trail. He talked about how he could ride his bike, how we could run and play, and how we could just look at all of the creation around us, those trees. And sometimes we see little critters out there. Don't stay too late, because I tell you, we did that one time and it got dark and we got a little scared. So, but again, those are the types of feelings and things that you can do at different places around the town. Okay, so now let's get busy with working on our brochure. So the first thing I want you to do is to take a piece of paper. If you don't have a plain white piece of paper, it can be colored or just a piece of notebook paper. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a trifold. So you fold it in and I'm doing, uh, my paper was horizontal, so I'm folding it in. And then I'll close it up and I'm making a trifle. Okay, so once you have made your trifle, then you're going to get something to write with. And on the front, you're going to write down the name of the place. Okay, so write the name of the place on the front. Again, mine was J.C. Park, so I'm going to write down J.C. Park, okay? And you can make this as wonderful and as neat as you want to. You know, with all that remote learning that we've been doing, some of you probably can get on a Google slide and create something pretty awesome, all right? So, but for now, I'm just writing it down. So if you see, I wrote down on the front, J.C. Park. Then I'm going to open it up, and on the first flap, I'm going to write down those things that I can do. So, like I said, already you should have the name of your place on the front of your trifold. When you open it up, on the left side, you're going to write down things to do. Be sure to use complete sentences in good detail. Include those different parts of speech we discussed. In the middle, draw a picture of your special place or something that you're doing there. And then how I feel. Make a list of how you feel when you are there. Remember, change up those words. Instead of saying happy, 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 maybe delighted, joyful, cheerful, ecstatic. And then you'll have a wonderful brochure published that you can share with somebody. You can share it with a friend. You can share it with a family member. And if you were doing remote learning, remember, you can even share it with a stuffed animal or a pet, okay? So again, when we make brochures and when we read a brochure, we have a purpose for reading it. So now what I wanna talk about is the reason people have brochures and why I thought that this was something fun that you guys could do and learn from. Because remember, we talked about 
adjectives, we talked about feelings, we talked about the writing process. But remember when we're reading, like well, when we're writing, we have to go back and check it and make sure it makes sense. So I need to make sure that my sentence structure is good. All right, so oh, that was a different one. Let me get the one I finally did. All right, so as I went through, I wrote down, number one, you can play on the playground. Number two, there are basketball goals to play ball. Number three, you can cool down on the splash pad. Number four, get exercise while you walk the trail. So I made my sentences nice and complete, and then I drew my small little illustration of the park. I have the trail back here, and then I have the rocket slide that I talked about, and I even sketched out the basketball goals. The way I feel when I go is I feel excited, I feel happy, enthusiastic, and I feel playful. Even though I'm an adult, when I go to a park, I have the same feelings you do. So again, I hope you guys had fun making your brochure and talk and learning about adjectives and different types of feelings. And then we even threw in synonyms and pronouns. So parts of speech was all throughout this lesson. Again, try using them. And the next time you go somewhere special, don't forget about the things that you, the way that you're feeling when you're there and the things that you're able to do. So I hope you had a great time today and I hope you learned a lot. And I hope that when you finish that you share your brochure with someone. So here are some examples of what I created. As you can see the things to do, the pictures and how I felt when I was there. After reading it, I thought, hey, let me add some more detail so you can even do it too. So when the reader reads it, they can say, yes, I really want to go there. You can use this for so many things. You can use it to persuade someone, to share information, or just to express how you're feeling. Have fun. have a fabulous day.